Hey there everyone, welcome to a Minecraft command block tutorial here on the channel and I'm hoping to do something pretty cool in this video. I'm going to be showing you here a health detector in Minecraft, but specifically in my case, this detector is going to be checking the nearest player, which happens to be me in this case, and it's detecting if I am at full health, okay? So if I have full 10 hearts of health, then this detector is going to activate. So essentially, as you can see here, the detector is currently activated, but if I use a harming potion on myself, you can see that the detector has now shut off. And then if I give the health back, you can see that the detector is now activated again. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the two commands needed to get this to work. It's pretty straightforward. And I'm going to show you the commands in a text editor as well so that it's easier to explain and showcase to you guys. But it's actually really simple. All we're really doing is detecting or checking a health tag on a particular player. And you can get a sort of detection system like this. And this is only the basics. And obviously you can do a lot more than just placing a redstone light. You know, you could you know, open a door, you could place a redstone block. There's lots of other things you could do with this. I'm just keeping it simple for tutorial purposes. So first off here, before we get into the commands, I'm just going to explain how this is actually working. So we actually have a repeat and chain command block facing in the same direction. Both of them are always active so that they can run without redstone being, you know, without redstone power. And um, I'm going to explain what each of these are doing here. So one thing to note is that this redstone light is an invincible light. And that becomes invincible when the detector is actually activated. And in order to get this to work, the first command block right here needs to remove a lamp in the first instance, okay? Uh, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, this detector is very similar to some of the other setups I've done, but this first command block is going to remove the lamp that's above here, and then this command block is the one that does the magic. This one uh, checks health tag and updates lamp okay pretty much this is what this second command block is doing so what's happening is this command block will remove the lamp and then this command block will then place the lamp back here again if the health tag meets the required condition that's essentially how this is working it's pretty straightforward so let's show you the commands in the text editor so i can show you in more detail all right, everyone, we're now inside this text editor right here, so I can show you the command, and I will leave this, these commands in the description as well, but the first command right here is dead simple. This is the first command, and all this is doing is obviously removing the lamp. So it's basically setting the block to an air block. That's all it's doing. Dead easy, dead simple. Now, please bear in mind, I'm using relative coordinates here in these commands. These relative coordinates are correct for me. You may need to adjust these so that it works for your particular circumstance and all that sort of thing. But um, the next thing right here, this is the second command, and this kind of goes into the nitty gritty of what it's actually checking. So we're going to be using an execute if entity command. We're going to do at p, which is the nearest player, and we're going to be doing an, a data tag check. And this is the very, very simple data tag we're actually going to be checking. Now, if you do not know, in Minecraft, Minecraft actually detects half a heart in a certain particular way. So you might notice this says 20.0F, uh, not 10. And the reason why is because it's detecting half a heart as one, okay? So please bear that in mind. So if you have a particular health amount you want to detect, you need to figure out how many a uh, half a hearts it is on your health bar or on the player's health, and then set that value. So that is why this is 20 instead of 10. Essentially, we are saying we need to detect 20 half hearts which is 10 full hearts on the player. 
If you wanted to only detect five hearts, you would then do health of 10 and so on. So bear that in mind. We then do a run command and we basically set a lit redstone lamp on the detector and that is what is showing the activated state. All right, everyone, that's about it for this very, very simple Minecraft command block tutorial. Hopefully you found this useful and it gives you something, something more in your arsenal for command blocks in terms of checking players' health and how you actually check a player's health in the data tags and so on. But if you did enjoy this video and learn something new, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified of any future videos on the channel. And Many of you are actually not subscribed that you are viewing right now. I'd love to expand this community here on YouTube. So be sure to show some love on the channel and be sure to follow my Twitter if you want, which is on screen or in the description. But thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you have a nice day. Stay happy and healthy as always. And I'll see you in the next video.